Hello everyone, welcome back, this is Recon Stewart, and today we are flying the final mission of Maple Flag Mission's Advanced Flight Training Qualification, Mission 10, Air to Ground Maverick Missile Employment. Um, so we're going to be assigned just a few specific targets instead of a cluster of targets, um, but to make it more difficult on us, we got to do it at night. So let's get going. Welcome, stud. Our departure time is 2300. Get your bird started, and I'll meet you at the runway. Tonight you will be using two versions of the AGM-65 Maverick missile. The Maverick is a precise guided standoff missile. It optimizes target destruction and aircraft survivability. It is a fire and forget missile, so once launched, you can immediately break off your attack and get out of pull dodge. Pull up! Pull up! Altitude! Altitude! Successful Maverick employment requires thorough mission planning. There are many factors that can influence an attack, including target type, weather, and threats. Cloud, smoke, and fog can cause a Maverick to lose track. They also reduce shadows and target area heating, making it difficult to get a lock on the target. Low cloud cover may force you to employ from a lower altitude, putting you in the WES for any threats. The hard deck on the range will be 500 feet AGL. This is the foul line, and you will fail this PO if you go below this altitude. And above all, stud, make sure you positively ID the targets. We don't want to kill any friendlies today. All right, let's set up a minimum altitude on our Mavericks. So we'll go to profile and to Maverick and to change settings type in 500 and save I'm also going to adjust the waypoint uh, altitudes so type in target 1 And change the altitude to, or excuse me, elevation to 100. Target 2. Same thing. And the reason I'm doing this is so my sensors aren't slaved to the steer point that's 8,000 feet in the air above the target and it takes me a while to slew them back on so this makes it a little easier on us alright let's review the mission profile Threat level is low, so this will be a high, high, high altitude profile. Your first target is at waypoint 5. Target the mobile command post only and use the AGM-65D on this target. Target will be at waypoint 6. Use the AGM 65H on this target. Your third target will be at waypoint 7. Target the fuel truck only. You can choose either AGM type on this target. Your last target will be a moving convoy near waypoint 8. Target the tanks only with your remaining AGMs. You are permitted to finish any remaining targets using gun strafing. Colt 1, fence in. 
All right, lights off. Gun pack or master arm on. Gun pack on. Laser on. Countermeasure system on. Maverick EO seeker head on. Colt one two fenced in five point five. Colt one one fenced in five point five. Let's review some information about the weapons you are using today. I'm going to head out a little to the right of the flight path to get a better view of the, the target. The AGM 65D Maverick is an infrared IR precision guided standoff air to ground missile with a 125 pound shaped warhead. It is best suited against armored air defense and fortified targets. This is a fire and forget weapon. Once launched, you can break off the attack and the missile will still guide to the target. Engagement range is restricted by seeker lock-on range and is typically between 3 and 7 nautical miles. It's a good idea to use the Mavericks to eliminate any air defense units first from outside their WES. Up to three missiles can be loaded on a LA-88 or single missile on the LA-117. For IR Mavericks, if the target is hotter than the background, set the boat switch aft. If colder, then set the boat switch forward. At night, vegetation cools faster than metal objects, so the target should be hotter. In the morning, the vegetation heats up faster, so the target would be cooler. The AGM-65H Maverick is an electro-optical EO precision-guided standoff air-to-ground missile with a 125-pound shaped warhead. It is based on the AGM-65B version, but with a charged-coupled device CCD seeker optimized for desert operations. It has an operational range greater than 12 nautical miles, but is most effective between 3 and 7 nautical miles. Up to three missiles can be loaded on a LA-88 or a single missile on the LA-117. When launching, remember the 30-30-30 rule. 30 degrees of maximum bank at lock-on, 30 degrees per second roll rate at launch, and 30 degrees maximum bank angle change lock-on to launch. Minimum altitudes for launch are 300 feet AGL for the EO version and 150 feet AGL for the IR version. Ensure a Maverick profile is selected and the MAV MFCD is set to SOI to prevent switch errors or a dry pass. The missile will not fire in sensor mode. Ensure the pointing cross is steady for at least one second before firing. A flashing pointing cross indicates that the missile may lose lock at or after launch. This can be caused by an insufficient temperature difference between the target and background, target size is too small, or the seeker head exceeds launch angle criteria. If the target is locked but the cross is not steady, the missile may be out of gimbal limits. Fly towards the flashing cross to center the seeker and ensure a successful target track. The range will provide some illumination parachute flares for targets 2, 3, and 4. Two, contact target, 12 o'clock, point one, one. All right. Call tally once you locate Two, the target visually, you have one permission one. to engage. Two, contact target, 12 o'clock, point one, one. If you point cannot one, locate one. the targets, you are permitted to circle the target area and re-engage if required. Do not stray outside the target range or MOA. All right, so Two, I swung a little bit wide so I can get a better view of this target. I'm going to China hat forward long on the TGP to slave to my steer point. I'm going to zoom in and sure enough, that looks like my truck. I'm going to point track with TMS up short. I'm going to set a speed with TMS up long. I'm going to switch to my Maverick. And make sure that my Maverick D's are selected. And I'm going to slew my Maverick to the TGP with China Hat Forward Long. I'm 5.6 miles out. I'm going to narrow field of view, trying to have forward short. And that is my target. I'm going to TMS up short to lock it. I have a firing solution. Rifle. Rifle. Go back to my TGP.
12 seconds to impact. 5 seconds. You hit the wrong target, stud. I hit the right target. Those ones are just collateral damage. That's a kill. Let's move to the next target. Alright, readjusting to target two. And looks like we are on a tank here. But I'm masked. I'm gonna switch. Switch my Mavericks to the H's. And go back to my TGP. And I'm going to flip around and approach the tank from the east. Now, the H's have an uh, optical seeker head, not an IR seeker head. So it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for this one to find the right target. But it is illuminated, so hopefully that will help. Alright, setting my autopilot. Setting my speed with TMS up long. Switching to my Maverick. Slewing my Maverick to my speed with trying to hat forward long. And gonna go narrow field of view, trying to hat forward short. There's my target, 6.7 miles out. I'm TMS up short to try and lock this target. I could also slew to try and lock the target. But because it's already locked via my TGP, it will stay on my target. And I can just keep heading TMS up short to get it to do a final lock. Or I can try and slew onto the target using ground stabilizer with TMS aft short. Come on, baby. optical seeker heads are a little bit more touchy there we go I have a lock three miles out rifle rifle and let's check our TGP target five seconds away that is a hit Switching to target three. That's a kill. Let's move to the next target. Warning, autopilot. I'm going to stay with the H's and go for this next target, which is a fuel truck, nine miles out. All right, autopilot. And let's uh, make TGP soy with coolie hat right long. And I'm going to bore sight my TGP with China Hat aft short. And then I will slew to my steer point with China Hat forward long. Alright, there are my targets. And it looks like the fuel truck is right here. I'll aim for the nice meaty portion where all the gasoline is stored. Well, probably diesel. It won't be as big of an explosion. Alright. I am locked up, TMS up long, set my speed, going to Mavericks with coolie hat right short, 
and slewing my Maverick to my Spee, China Hat forward long. All right, I am on target. Narrow field of view. TMS up short for a lock. I've got it. Rifle. Rifle. I'm going to turn away from the target and gain some distance while monitoring with the TGP. Five seconds to impact. That is a kill. That's a kill. Let's move to the next target. Moving to my next waypoint, which should be a moving column. See if I can pick them up on the TGP. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to lose it. I'm going to try and get two Mavericks off on this pass, so I want to get enough distance here to make that happen. I'm going to switch to my IR Seeking Mavericks, my Ds. Alright, I'm going to turn on the steer point. A little bit of uh, urgency, since my targets are moving. Coming on to my target. There is a tank right there. Got him on point track. Perfect. I'm going to TMS up long, set my speed on that moving tank. Going to my Mavericks, slowing my Mavericks onto that tank. I've got him. Rifle. The rifle. I'm going to go back to my TGP and try and lock up that other target behind him. I've got him. TMS up long. Back to my Mavericks. Slew my Maverick to my steer point. TMS up long and rifle. Rifle. See how these guys are doing. That is a hit. And Good another path. hit. Re-engage. I'm going to gain a little bit of distance and. Good pass. Re engage. Try and hit that last tank with my last Maverick. See if we can locate him here. Ooh, I got to turn here or else I'm going to leave the MOA. And that would be bad news. Let's see here. Where's that last tank? There he is. Let's gain a little distance here. A little uh, untrimmed because of the weight differential from having just one Maverick left on the wing, but that'll go away shortly. Alright, I'm turning back in on the target.
TMS up long to set my speed. Head to my Mavericks, TMS, China hat forward long to slew and rifle. Rifle. Switching to guns. Pull up, guns, pull guns, up. Guns. Good pass. Re-engage. And now I'm going to finish the targets off with my gun. Pull up, pull up. Good pass, re engage. That first one was a tank. Guns, guns, guns. Pull up, pull up. Guns, guns, guns. Good pass. Re engage. That was a good one. Three and one pass, I think. I got two APCs on the. Uh, is it the far north of the... Let's see if I can get those two APCs. Pull up, pull up. Guns, guns, guns. Altitude, altitude. Good pass, re engage. There's a truck there, another truck, mm, like five targets left it looks like. Let's see what we can get on this pass. Guns, guns, guns. Guns, guns, guns. Pull up, like pull armor. up. Guns, guns, guns. Good 
path. Altitude, altitude. APC on the far, I think it's this, east here. Pull up, pull up. Guns, guns, guns. Engage. I got one truck left, I think. Hopefully this is our last target. I have 370 rounds left. It's moving. Pull up, pull up. Guns, guns, guns. Altitude, altitude. I don't think I got him. Three hundred twenty rounds left. Not moving now. I think that got him. That's a kill. Time to egress, stud. We got all of them dead. And with 250 rounds of combat mixed to spare. That was a lot of targets without cluster bombs. Let's climb to 8,000 feet, and we'll go ahead and climb to our egress. Put our plane back in configured here. And we need to go 70 miles this way and back to 8,000 feet, 70 degrees rather. put our TGP back in standby
SIF range control, Colt 1-2, request clearance north of exit Bravo. Colt 1-2, SIF range control, cleared for exit Bravo. Have a nice night. Colt 1-2, off, safe. Colt 1-2, roger, cleared for exit Bravo. Colt 1, fence out. Alright, fencing out. Master arm safe, gun pack safe, laser safe, TGP off, countermeasure system back to standby, and lights back on. Way to the right. You can park in the first free revetment on your left. You made it, stud. You passed this PO. You received a qualified minus rating. Work on your maneuvers to improve your skills. It may save your life. All right, everybody. A Q minus. I'm guessing it's because I hit that other tank or stud. that other truck. You passed advanced aircraft training in the A-10C Warthog. You are now considered basic mission capable. I'm going to leave you with a few words of advice. The only three things a wingman should ever say are one, two's up, two, you're on fire, three, I'll take the ugly one. There are old pilots, there are bold pilots, but there are no old bold pilots. And finally, a little poem I'm sure you will appreciate. Sandy, Sandy, she's one of the best, and every night I give her the test. The moon was high, the lights were dim, and there she stood, so sweet and slim. I rolled her over on her side, and on her back I also tried. I wound her up as quick as I could, and when I got in her I knew she was good. Sandy, Sandy, she's the best in the land. She's an A-10C in the Air Combat Command. All right, everybody. This is Recon Stewart. We've passed Advanced Flight Training Qualification, um, second series of missions from Maple Flag Missions, and we will be starting on the Tactical uh, Qualification Missions next. Thanks for watching. This is Recon Stewart. We will see you next time.